Welcome back, Class to White Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we're playing Dragon Age role-playing game. Or I should rather say that we're surviving the Dragon Age role-playing game. <laughs> With our GM, Jared, who is doing his darndest to kill us all. We've also got uh, Steven Sadal, Feral Knights, the other Matt, and Mike just showed up. Hi, Mike. Hi, everybody. And we're going to go into this cave. It's going to be fun, trust me. Right. It's gonna... Okay. So you guys have gotten about uh, about five minutes of rest after dealing with the uh, the, the mysterious, probably dark spawn creatures, and the uh, enormous bear scar. Um, the so the cave is set into the into the side of an escarpment, as I said before. So it's it's all bear rock. Bear and, rock. Uh... <laughs> oh. oh. Oof. And it's quite dark inside. I think I've got this handy dandy light sprite. No, it's okay. I've got dwarf eyes. Light sprite and dwarf eyes. Dwarf light spray. What? Huh? I think we're getting off topic. What? Okay. Nani? No, that's too weird. I don't know the the Kunari Ubu so the bear earlier was... gets back up. <laughs> now it's a zombie. Just... Oh god! Ah! That's a great moment to walk back to the keys. <laughs> double damage. <laughs> All right, let's infiltrate that cave and yeah, put this like crap around. Man. I'm just going in there. Yeah. What? I'm, okay. I was so ne nearly killed killed by a bear scar, and I I fear nothing at this point. So the I'm just cave is quite into dark. The cave. Um. It's large enough for the bear scar. So Nerum's head actually, Nerum's horns kind of brush the top at some point. So it like forms sparks as I walk. There's no map, so you're gonna have to deal oh. with it and use the power of imagination. I hate you. Yay. All of you at home. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you creep into the darkness. Um, you can't see anything past. Like all, like there's the ten foot radius of the, uh, of the light wisp. You cannot see anything past it. It's just pitch black on the other. Once you get past that field of light, to the point that eventually you can't even see the light from behind you. Oh, this is good. The, uh, the path angles downwards. Like the, you, you get the impression that the initial set of the cave that you went through is like was like large enough to function as a den, but then you start heading downwards in a in a sort of back passage. Do we now? Yes, you're going in the back way. Back passage adventure is four. Yep, that's accurate. Eventually, you come into a larger cavern. Um, which is actually lit. There are sort of enchanted glowstones all over the place. Giving a, not exactly bright light, but it's light enough to see by. And, uh, it's sort of, the place has, it's, it seems sort of like a cross between, um, like almost a, a half feral person's camp and a very crude laboratory. Is I was gonna be honest. Go ahead. Go for it. I was gonna be honest, when you said feral person, I thought you meant Jordan. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> only half only half feral. Only half. <laughs> uh is it a magic laboratory? Uh, you suspect it's some sort of magical or alchemical laboratory. Could we perhaps search it? Especially because uh, along one wall, you see uh, Roland, Hawk, Prift, and Shadow all chained up, and they're being slowly bled. Aww. Oh. So it's a blood mage's laboratory. Uh, let's let's keep walking up in the sea here. All right, hey, off we go. Hey. <laughs> Later, Roland. Oh wait, there's my wife. Fuck you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, your ex-wife. Actually, semi-conscious. Um, 
in, in a state of unbelievable agony. Where's his token? Um, well, his token was left behind. <laughs> I guess I could go get it. It's the token rapture. No lesions allowed. <laughs> There's Rolan. Yay! So, uh, yeah, Rolan, can you make me a perception check with a minus three penalty? Okay. Don't forget to impersonate first. Don't forget that part. Um, yeah, you're sort of half aware that there is movement around you. Roland opens his mouth and just kind of half half groans something that he thinks is a who's there, but it just comes out as this garbled kind of sonnet of despair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yet, 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 Kaneth somehow feels that she was slighted. <laughs> And it's almost got, like, torn apart by a bear. You're kind of low on the priority list. <laughs> you actually almost got torn apart by two chin locks. You are very low on the priority list. Rolan, is that you? Uh, yeah. I'd recognize that drunken groaning anywhere. <laughs> Damn, he would survive. We, uh, what are they tied up with? Chains, or... Is it a matter of cutting them down, or is it a matter of, uh... It's a matter of breaking chains. There's, it's like, they're like crude iron, uh, manacles and stuff. Damn. I guess we better find a key, then. There you go. I fixed that imagination problem we were having. Niran just uses his <laughs> Niran just uses his uh his fish shaped key. No. So uh yeah, so Niran yeah, you, you like Niran tries to, to yank the, the manacles out of the wall, but as crude as they are, they're they're just too strong for that. Can we yank the wall out of the manacles? No. <laughs> hmm. Can I go... So they're not magical manacles? Could I perhaps search for a key? They seem to be just regular mundane manacles. No, they're two. Oh, let me let me smith them apart. You don't have the tools. I got a hammer. That's not really the tools for removing manacles. I got a lockpick. Do you? Yeah, I wonder I if you some. could use that in some way. All right, all right. What's that dexterity? He picks his teeth with it. He does have lock picks. <laughs> he, in fact, I believe, has the lock pick focus. The lock pick Actually, uh, I have lock talent. picks too. They're dwarven lock picks, thievery. though, so it's they're just really tiny picking. hammers. I don't have the focus. No, yeah, you took contacts with that. Uh, yeah, I okay. can do it too. I, I'd also have the lockpicks. No. All right, <laughs> your turn. Okay. If if you can't get it, I recommend we just cut his hands off. No, but you do have the option of rerolling. <laughs> and yeah. I am. Well, let's just keep doing this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't. You can't get it. It's too complicated. This lock is stupid. I'm getting dumber. No, you can't keep trying. You can only try once. So anyway, <laughs> can I try? Uh, you could. Just Even in his state, magic. Roland manages to laugh at how at how terribly Kaneth is doing this. Namek just says, give me that. He takes one of the lock <laughs> fix. Hoo hoo hoo, elf, stupid. Never mind. Just can't break that barrier. If I were so horrible of a person that I would use out of character information in character, I would just like cut my hand and then rub it on his face. <laughs> and like, like what? Give him AIDS? 
Something like that. Yeah. Wow. So anyway. Okay. Wow. Can I recommend that this he breaks badly. his thumbs? So you guys gonna like, I don't know, search for a key or something? Yeah, that's what I said yeah. originally. Okay. So that would be perception searching. Conveniently enough. Damn. Hey, look who's got perception searching. Yes, I do. That's why I said it the first time. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you were. You look through. There's a lot of notes you really, really don't understand. Um, but you do find a key that looks like it probably fits the manacles. So I, um, I'll let down everybody else for. It's next to a jar with like a horrible looking green hand. In Ew. It. Ew. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give the hand a very wary look, then look around to the others, and then let down the B team before I let down Roland. Amic okay. is going to set about destroying anything he can in the lab, if that's possible. There's a lot of breakable stuff. Amic's gonna break all of it. There's like... Very calmly and quietly without uttering a word, he's just gonna start hitting everything breakable with his staff. He's also, they've also, there's like a couple of, um, like, jars of blood that you're pretty sure came from Roland and everybody else. Roland, you have half hit points right now. Just smash, smash, smash. Ah, oh, fantastic. Can we get Roland's blood back into him? <laughs> no. We don't have oh. that technology. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could you could drink it. He just starts he starts drinking it. <laughs> this will get my blood back into me. <laughs> <laughs> It'll certainly put some iron in your diet. Stop breaking everything. No. Um, yeah, so... Also, I have a question suddenly. Okay. Like a bit of fridge logic, and mm -hmm. even though I did not touch the fridge. What happened to our dogs? The dogs are outside. Y you mean they didn't run like hell when they No, they probably ran like hell. <laughs> but they are still outside, strictly speaking. <laughs> okay. Is there any sign of our quarry? It's funny you should mention that. Because as you are uh, breaking shit, um, <laughs> basically, um, you, you've like, you've cracked open like the, the, the jars of blood, so there's like blood all over the place. It all starts to s sort of slowly co coagulate. Good, oh, good. God. One puddle. And then that sort, of, and that rises up into the form of a uh, rather disheveled-looking man. Shit! It's the necromancer from my Everon game, who is <laughs> quite clearly uh, who who looks like like Blacktail. You're pretty sure it's Blacktail. There you are. Important question. Yo. Is he wearing clothes? Um. Well, A, he's made it of blood. Oh. So, no. It's just kind of a shape out of... A man sort of shape out of blood. Oh. The only thing that's really distinct is the face. Okay. Uh, I was but he has like a scraggly that... beard. and right, His right, hair is yeah. all like a mess. I see. We're just hanging out. It's just an image of him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's not really him. No, it's not really him. It's a like a, it's a blood basically. replica. So you followed me all the way here, did you? I yep. suppose I should be impressed. You should be you pissing your pants is what you should be doing. <laughs> Why would I do that? 
because by now it should be clear to you that there's nowhere you can go where I won't follow. <laughs> you got that from a movie, didn't you? Take What's it, a movie? That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that was a Lucy. I wonder about that. There are all sorts of places I can go that you would never follow. Aren't there? After all, you're an apostate, aren't you? <gasps> I still don't know what that word is. So that's where his Templar was. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere! Amek, is this true? Better an apostate than a blood mage. <gasps> He's a blood mage? <laughs> Both literally and, you know, figuratively right now, he is a blood mage. Oh, come now. Like, you've never felt the temptation to tap into true power? I've certainly felt the temptation to tap something. Temptation is one thing. What defines a man is how he acts on it. Oh, very good. Always so fatherly, aren't you? What are you getting at? Oh, not a thing. Not a thing. Well, don't worry. I'm not coming anywhere back near that to lab again. You got in my way. You got in my way. And you didn't have the decency to even die properly. Happy to disappoint. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of others you've disappointed in the past. Mm. You know, we're so close to playing right into my hands. Still, I suppose I have to learn to anticipate this kind of interference in my plans. Well, I'll be seeing you all again sometime, I'm sure. Assuming you survive, anyway. We're going to survive, and we'll be seeing you too. I'm only half dead, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, no one ever would have been harmed if it hadn't been for that. Fool Gorehan. The fool that you were controlling. Me? Me? What are you talking about? There's only one explanation left for the events that we've experienced. Really? And we've what? literally examined them all. What would that be? <laughs> you, being completely insane as far as I can tell, transformed yourself into a dog just for the sole purposes of taking control of this area. It's madness. Clearly the blood magic has driven you over the edge. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, unless you like living as a dog, in which case, well, even more reason to put you down like one. Well, you know, it had its advantages. I don't even want to know. Simpl much simpler life. Ooh, maybe that's what I'll do to all of you. I'll turn you all into dogs. I tire of the boss there, our boss's words. Can I just put my boot through the freaking blood damage? No! Oh, I mean, no, I don't want to be a dog. Not, no, don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> the blood uh, loss is making him a little really slow. Different. Say that again, you get, you get blood on your boot. Oh, but More it doesn't disrupt really the damage? At this point. Such a simple creature, aren't you? Just lashing it with violence. I suppose one can't expect anything better from an ox man like yourself. Uh, I'll just have to look him, like, look at the blood image, like, an inch eye to eye. Well, eye to, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and just say, I will cut the tongue from your mouth, boss that loss. Such Big talk. After all, aren't you 
traveling the company of one exactly what you accuse me of being. I look a little confused because I still don't know the word apostate. <laughs> this is a waste uh... of time. You're one to talk about big words when all you're doing is talking at us. You don't even have the decency to come at us yourself. You only strike at us through your pawns because you know you couldn't take us down one on one. <laughs> and well, it was worth Fair a shot. Fights are for fools. Are you a legion? <laughs> <laughs> no. Suddenly, Rolan gives us the best clue ever. <laughs> Well, the one's just like slowly nodding his head now at this point. <laughs> oh, you see, it was also very simple. Trum Hall was such a a useful pawn. You know, his mind so susceptible to control. All I had to do was build him up as a hero. And then, once his control of, of the uh, of the Rustwald was complete, I just needed some other useful pawns to get rid of Waldwick Gorehand. Would have been so much easier if you all just died there with him, of course. Well, you tried to make sure of that, didn't you? Not very <laughs> well. Oh... Poor little elf. Tasted good, though. Now, I think we're about done here. I'm sure you're going to have some brave words about how you're going to chase me down to the co every last corner of Thedas. I already said that, yeah. <laughs> but... Well, I mean, first you'll have to get out of the cave alive, won't you? Yeah, I figured Correct. you'd been stalling for time. Time to go! So long. And he snaps his fingers, and the blood form just kind of drops. Like it's just suddenly loses all cohesion. And you can feel, Amek, you can feel the power in that blood. Uh, leaving it. Oh my. Even his as the magical presence is gone. To rumble and rocks are falling from the ceiling. Run! Rocks fall, everyone dies. Question mark? Cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to need an, this is going to be an extended test. I can't just use, you know, stone fist to shoot them all back. No. <laughs> it's going to be an extended test. Your blood is all over the place. He broke. Mamek broke the canisters open. That was pretty oh, cool blood. That so was much. Like, oh. That was like okay. real blood. I mean, you could lick it off um, the floor if yeah, you really so want. An extended, uh, let's see, what would be good? Magic. No. <laughs> I'm going to allow <laughs> Dexterity Acrobatics, um, Constitution Running, or Willpower Courage. Oh, I have none of those. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> I said I have none of those. Well, so it's an extended test. Meaning we gotta build up our dragon die. Exactly. Dragon, dragon die. Dragon die. We'll just get the die part. Um, basically, each of you needs to reach ten points on your dragon die to get out. Individually. Individually. All right. Do we free the B team, by the way? Yeah, yeah and it's free them okay. first. Okay. Oh, yeah. and, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Roland, you're at a minus two to all your... Yeah, attacks. goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. that you're going to miss... Not that anybody's going to miss Roland. 
I'll remember you never. So, can I get uh, initiatives from everyone? To keep this straight. Is there a way to clear dead guys? I think you just right click and remove them. You can clear initiative or something? You should just be able to remove token. Or something to that effect. Or you could just actually delete their tokens. Yeah. Just manually remove them. We did it. So, first up is Kenneth. It's Roland. Okay. What are you rolling? Roland's first. Yeah, Roland actually got. Oh, really? Yep. yep, 18. I, did, I didn't put a minus 3 on that, though, if I should have. Minus 2. He still uh -huh. was in first, anyway. And that's fine, no. Not on that. I guess it doesn't matter for the initiative. Alright, so what are you rolling? Okay, what were the skills again? Uh, you said running. They are constitution running, dexterity acrobatics, or willpower courage. Well... I don't have any of those, and my constitution and dexterity are equal, so I'll just go with constitution. Okay. You said minus three, right? Minus two. Minus two, okay. Uh, Alright, that's a success, so you get four points. Okay. Roland's running on, like, liquid courage, since he's kind of drunk, with half his blood missing. Okay, so pure toughness is keeping the line going. Kenneth. Well, this is going to be pure run, run, run. Oh, and Roland, you take, uh... Damn it, I'm bad at rolling dice. Roland, you take three piercing damage. Okay, Kenneth uses her dexterity to you know, deftly avoid the worst of the falls. However, she takes two piercing damage. Ow! And you're at three points. <laughs> Amic. Amic is just running on pure rage right now, so I'm going to be using willpower. Okay. Not very Dynamic well. does not succeed. That was the wrong roll. Ouch! Emic takes five damage as a large rock strikes him. Near him. Time to run. Niram also does not succeed. That's a pretty bad roll. Oh well. Niram takes three piercing damage. As a large rock hits him. Okay. Arresta. Wow. <laughs> Resta also does not make it. We're on the ball here. Resta takes three uh, piercing damage. The real enemy of any adventuring party: falling rocks. Pretty I much. guess so. So you guys are you guys are are running and like now, um, Kenneth and somehow Rolan have a significant lead over the rest of you on the way out. <laughs> it's adrenaline. Rulon. Okay, I'll go ahead and use dexterity this time. Okay. Now Rulon could conceivably escape on this turn. Just like even 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 bled of half his blood, he's not about to be outdone by some goddamn uppity elf. All right. Okay, Rulon succeeds. Oh, I forgot to subtract that by two. You still succeed. Okay. 
taking another one point of damage, and you're at eight. Kana. <laughs> Well, shit. Hang on a second. So, Kenneth manages to avoid another, uh, there, like a, a sudden like crack opens up and she jumps over it. They're neck and neck now. But she still takes three uh, piercing damage. Amic wipes the blood off and continues to doggedly attempt to walk out of the cave. <coughs> Thanks that for the <laughs> being the lowest die there, Dragon Die. Either one of the others would have been great, but no. You still succeed. Yeah, the two. Yeah, two out of ten. Taking another two piercing damage. Great. As you basically, you, he bulls through falling debris through sheer bloody mindedness. That's our Amic. Near him. More running. Okay. Just lowering my head and like horn backing things <laughs> out. Alright. Whew, nice. Okay. So Nirum is able to get another, some actual good distance this time running. Managing to avoid most of the worst obstacles. Though he twists his ankle a little bit. Oh, Arrest him. Oh no. Nice. <laughs> nice. So arrested. Ducks and weaves with surprising agility for a stout dwarf as himself, and uh, is able to avoid the worst harm or anything that really slows him down. But he takes three piercing damage in the process. That ain't nothing gonna break his stride. Well, that's Can't good to know. Can't stop him now. Roland. <clears throat> Okay, okay you're back minus to... Three, minus two. Right. It's minus two, right? Yeah, minus two. He's at minus two. Okay, Roland fails. So close. So, uh... <clears throat> so Roland takes five piercing damage. As he's hit by a rock that makes him stumble and, and have to catch himself against the wall. Slowing his advance. Kenneth. Run, 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 run. Alright. Dang. Kenneth gets clear. So, Kenneth, you run out. Yes, taking I do. one piercing damage in the process. Amic? Amic's just going to keep going. He's determined he's going to get out there and track down this black tail guy who knows way too much. But not very well. No. <laughs> he's too distracted by rage. Okay, you take another five piercing damage. Ow. That's good. Keeps me, keeps me awake. Near him. <laughs> All right. Uh, this time I will go ahead and encourage my way out. All right. I am going to try and endure you see him, you one see him get rock. Hit by a rock. <laughs> and you're gonna encourage your way through it. Damn. Damn. So you succeed and escape. I'm gonna die in this cave. <laughs> Taking two piercing damage in the process as you stumble free. 
The wand will carry on your will. Arresta. Time to continue doing awesome dwarvish flips. <laughs> Dwarf foo. You succeed. Doing parkour and shit. You get almost to the exit. Though in the process you suffer three piercing damage. Okay, Roland. Okay, stiff upper lip. Don't forget your minus two penalty. You fail. Damn it. He did got something stiff to the upper lip. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> yeah, another rock uh, hits you in the shoulder. Reopening the... Like, <laughs> barely... Yeah. The barely... Uh, clotted injury where you were being bled slowly by that blood mage. Yeah, things are not looking too good for Roland. Can he left. out? Amic. Ah. Uh. Okay. Wow, yeah, Roland's in a bad way. <laughs> I can't heal him, can I? Um, no, because it's a major action to GTFO. You succeed. I got two more steps. <laughs> you get a bit closer. Taking one damage. Done. Your room is clear. Arresta. I shout encouragement. In Quinlet, but it's still encouragement. Damn. Okay, Arresta manages to uh, actually vault like over a rock just as it lands in front of him, <laughs> and does the splits in midair, like like sweeping his legs over it, like he like it was a, a mounting horse. And somehow he's like holding a beer stein when he comes out. And he takes one piercing <laughs> damage as he as he emerges into freedom. Roland. Okay, Constitution has not been the way for the last two rolls, so let's try Dexterity again. That damn minus two. Alright. You make it. Ah, yes. Roland staggers so Roland out into the is, light yeah, of day. Roland barely staggers out. Taking another two damage in the process. <laughs> he stubs his toe on the, on the lip of the cave. Just staggering, slumping down to his knees. Kaneth is out. Hammock. Kaneth shoots Roland. <laughs> I am going to die in this cave. No, you're not. No, it's no not. we'll this spend the... all of our... Yeah. No, I'm going to die in this cave. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll spend all of our turns cheering for you. Well, they will. Roland Ow. will pass out. Oh. Ow. Okay, so Amic takes another six damage. As he hears the distant mocking voice of the black tail. Telling him, indeed, that he's going to die in this cave. And all Jerk. those people who depend on him, he's going to let them down. Near him! It's been like three, it's been like 15 seconds and there's no sign of Amic. Well then, perhaps I will have what to do, go in and try to help him out. Not a smart move. I don't care. All right, you're gonna go in after him. Yes. Okay. Roll me. Actually, this is a perfect time for a willpower courage check. All right. So near him goes back inside. And grab and basically goes in to help uh, Aresta. Yes, Aresta. So I'm going to count that as for both of you. So you are both now at seven out of 
out of 10. Okay. All right. Emic so feels bolstered on. by the touching courage of his comrade. Yeah. Basically, now I'm going to have you, you two are basically rolling for both of you now. Arresta, you're out. Roland is out. Jane is out. Emic Fane. And the, the D team guys have basically also been helped out somehow, I'm sure. They cheesed it. <laughs> They got out by Jim. Damn. Mm -hmm. That was some, indeed, some bolstered courage there. <laughs> there you go. Wow. All right. You fool, Hammett cries. Get out of here. So, uh, those of you sitting outside, wa you watch as Nerum, you know, gets up and straight back, saunters back in with, with purpose to go get, uh, to go get Amic. Who's, who's seemingly, you know, trapped inside the cave. Um, and like, as they're, as, as Amak and Nirim are, are working, are working their way closer, you know, things are getting worse and worse. There's more rocks falling, more rocks falling. Um, both of them also take, wow, one whole extra piercing damage each. <laughs> that was like uh, Alex Armstrong in Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> So the whole place is just muscles increased down around by one hundred percent. And then, and and then, um, like, and then suddenly you just see Amic, and you know, Nirim is like half carrying him as they burst out of the cave. Just as the whole thing completely collapses, a huge cloud of dust spraying out. Um, and since most of you were soaked in blood, you are now also covered in dust. Great! Now we're all going to die of disease. Funny you should mention that. So, yeah, Thank you, like, just barely, like, like they have to leap the last few feet, just managing to clear it just in time as the whole thing just collapses in, leaving you, leaving them, leaving you all panting for breath on the, on the forest floor. And you notice that the fog has dissipated and it's no longer, there's no longer that unearthly chill. Amic rolls onto his back and wipes away some of the bloody dust. Gasping for air, he looks up to the sky and says, Now that's what I call <coughs> a sticky situation. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and then, as you realize that you're lost in the Brazilian forest and have no idea how you're going to get back out to anything resembling civilization, we end the adventure. Yay. Yay. Join us right. next week when we may be running in the shadows. So what's everybody's XP at? 5,000. 5, someone, someone who knows how much XP you have. 5,000? 5,000. 5,000. The XP is too damn high. Dark match. Um... Okay, so for this final bit, I'm giving all of you 1,000 XP, so you're all at 6,000 experience. Yay! Yay! Hooray! That's not enough for level 4, is it, though? Well, you know, it's, it's getting there, I'm sure. Mm. Someday. Someday we will rise out of obscurity. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this adventure, which went wildly out of the scope of the original published adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Off the rails. We're in bad. But evolved, now. but evolved into something more personal, something more, uh, you know, relevant to you guys as characters. I think. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. I think so. Other than, Indeed. Other especially, than the, uh... especially when it comes out that Niram and Kaneth have both <laughs> trying to track to the Dark Spawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that Templar after all. Well, <laughs> it'll just be our incentive to seek out the Grey Warden so we don't die. Not that we actually probably knew any of that. I'm sure one of us might. 
<laughs> well, we can just ask them. <laughs> it was right over here. Well, I want to say thanks to uh, Jared for running Dragon Age role-playing game. I had a great time. Yeah. It was fun. It was extremely fun, and I had moments I will remember forever with all of you. Much to my <laughs> chagrin. <laughs> Sam, it's so fake. Like, I guess you guys are all right. We'll all be back one day. Yes, one day. For further adventures. Yeah, I can't wait to... Zany characters. Uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. And it'll also be good when we do that Fallout RPG. <laughs> There is actually a Fallout RPG. I know there is. It's a red herring. But there is actually one. Well, I think there have been entirely too many red herrings in this so far. <laughs> yeah, well, if you saw the descriptions of the last three episodes on the YouTubes, I'll leave that as a trail of breadcrumbs. So take a bow, ladies and gentlemen. We survived the first adventure in Ferelden. Well, I guess this is actually our second adventure in Ferelden. But the first one that wasn't the tutorial. Yes. I really wish those elves we had helped in the first adventure had showed up to help us there. <laughs> that would have been, nice. been a great Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> well, I'm Come gonna, in and save everybody. I'm going to cut out the recording, so if there are any last minute things you want to say, now is the time. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> well. Have a magical day, everyone. Till the next time, all the best. Yeah, when I made fun of.